Hello. Today we're going to take a look at Unify ACHD. I have not one but two ACHDs. Now these are pretty amazing devices. They are the new Wave 2 devices from Ubiquity. Now here at home I have uh, AP Pro running. That's the AC version. And we're going to compare the size and some of the features between the two and differ differentiate. But first we're going to unbox one of these to see how it looks like inside. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to move this one aside. And here we go. Nice and smooth. In true ubiquity fashion, the packaging always seems to be done right. <coughs> And there we go, we have a nice little soft cover on top of the access point. So I'm going to take that aside. I'm going to take this out gently. I have to say, right away I can tell that this is a different access point because it feels about 10 times heavier than the original access point. It just feels heavy in the hand. If that is what substance is unhappy. All right, now this is interesting. Just like original access point, of course, all, all their AC pros, they have uh, main and sec secondary. Uh, this is main and this is, this is main and this is secondary. Uh, access for their access point, the main serves naturally to support the AP and if you want to pass through gigabit to something else to another AP as long as you have power provided separately you can chain them like that so you don't have to do separate runs I like personally separate runs but anyway but this is something different they have included USB type C adapter in here I am not exactly sure what the purpose of that is the previous ones I don't think they had the USB adapter, but we'll check. And naturally there's a reset button here in the recess. This mount is supposedly exactly the same as the one on the AP Pro. And we are going to compare the two. Now, I also have, since I do a lot of these, I have a 5-pack. I deploy a lot of these, so I have a five pack always at hand of uh, AP Pros. So we're gonna take one out and we're gonna take a look at the size to compare it between the, the Pro version and the new HD version. Oh, this one is getting low, I have to order more. <laughs> there we go. Okay, as you can see, still in brand new form, unpackaged, and we can keep it that way. I didn't see this rubber cover piece on the HD, I'm sure it has one. That's interesting. It does have one. Okay, I will take it out. Okay, the first thing that we can see right here is that this one is much larger in the diameter here there you can see it that way and this is I think the best way of describing it the thickness it's about almost one and a half to two times the size between the uh, AC Pro and AC HD I suppose and this feels like one-fifth 
the weight of this. Honestly, it feels so light, like there's nothing in it, just air. Uh, and also, let's see the mount. By the way, I'm recording this on my new Lumix GH4 camera that I just got. I'm so stoked about this camera. So this is my first recording in 4K ever. We'll see how it comes out once I edit the video. Alright, let me take this out. I need leverage. Leverage. I need leverage. Okay. Here we go. These are supposed to be absolutely the same. And they are. It's the exact mount. So if you're taking one of these off to replace it with this, the mounting will work, which is amazing. And here we have, in the Pro version, we have the main connection here. We have this little tab just like here, that's over here and the secondary connection on the other side. And there was regular USB 2.0 in the middle next to the reset button. There's no point going into the specs of this. Everybody's talked about it at great length, so everybody knows what this is. However, the HD we're gonna take a little closer look at now that we compare the sizes <laughs> of the two. Let's see what else is in pack inside. I'm gonna move this to us aside here. Here we have the mount for the drop ceiling. Rubber piece. The soft rubber that covers the cable part goes in right here. You see how it's slotted for the cable? And also this piece comes off if you're running cable from the side. But if the cable is coming from underneath where it's, it's positioned like that, it would come from there. But this piece would come out as well if cable comes from the side which is most likely the case but anyway this is a very nice design because it's going to provide great seal for the electronics inside although it's not an outdoor device it does provide you some uh, very small amount of water resistance and this would this would uh, protect you, your insides from getting wet in case of slight mist, I, I suppose. I can't stress how heavy this feels compared to AC. Then we have, naturally, the included introduction and some specs and what's supposed to be inside. different mounting options, they give you a nice little guide on how to do it and also they have uh, online, they have uh, very nice explanations as to what to do so their data sheet is pretty self-explanatory honestly if you follow the steps anybody can deploy one of these I have a ton of these adapters 99% uh, of the time I run the power from the switches but I've never had a white one and and the nice thing about it is it has the mount in the back this is ingenious I love this because I could have used it before just imagine put two screws here put this on the wall tuck it in click it in stays in place amazing amazing I love it also to go with the rest of their gear, white cable, nice protectors for it, and of course a couple of screws. 
but I am really impressed with this, even though I don't almost ever use it. I have, um, I've got rid of a lot of these, but I think I have two dozen of 24 volt passive in about just as much of these 48 volt passive adapters from Ubiquiti. And uh, mostly I buy five packs. If I didn't, I would have hundreds of these, honestly. But not everybody's like me also. So that's, there's that. Now I was thinking about putting one of these in my home, but honestly, honestly, there's just no point to it. Maybe, maybe in the future, in, in the future, but right now all my devices are fine. <laughs> um, if I get a couple of these devices to be able to test the uh, MooMimo uh, capabilities of this device, then I would say yes. It would be a worthwhile um, investment to be able to look at the difference between the Pro version and this version and the, the MooMimo capabilities of this access point. I'm going to tell you some uh, specs as they are listed um, on this device, on Ubiquity. And on Ubiquity's site, they're advertised ACHD that's now shipping to customers, but still very hard to find, is prominently displayed. Of course they claim it's the highest performance AP in the industry, but that is a bold claim and we're not going to venture into all that because that could open up a can of worms and infighting that could go on for the days or months or ages. Anyway, the AP ACHD is quite a mouthful, but is an amazing access point featuring MooMimo, which is a multiple user input, multiple user output, which is humongously different from before, where Access Point has to talk individually one at a time to each user. Uh, as graphics shows here, it's a good representation, although that happens in a millisecond, it's still quite an amazing feature, along with others like radio and CPU hardware acceleration and beamforming. Those are two amazing things that are implemented in the ACHD. And of course, Unify interface for and their SDN that we all know and love by now, it is almost impossible to say uh, personally it's my favorite single pane of glass controller hands down although I like Meraki a lot their pricing model is unsufferable and uh, their licensing fees are beyond what I'm willing to pay or subject my customers to and I really don't sell them as much as I used to because of that. And here we have model comparison between the APAC Pro and UAPAC HD. And the main thing from here is with all these new technologies, really the increase in the number of users supported and um, uh, MooMimo with beamforming is worth every penny they're charging for it, every single penny. Um, just like I, I tore down recently and posted the original uh, APAC, the square one, and that one had two PCI cards for 2.5 and 5 gigahertz uh, radios on it. Uh, next time I get one of the pros that is broken, I will tear that down as well and show what's, what it looks like inside. But this, I suspect, was built with far more antennas and uh, 
and much beefier hardware, better chipset, better everything inside to be able to do this. They're also double the price plus of the original uh, AP Pros as well and it truly is an enterprise hardware so you're looking well past $300 for a, a, a one of these as opposed to uh, 150 bucks for AP Pro. That was a quick look at AP AC HD from Ubiquity. One lucky person here from New Jersey gets to keep both of these in his business. Soon I might get mine and you might get yours. Anyway folks, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day and come back again to see us. Enjoy.